Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, I received a parcel through the post. It was from Just at Turnings with a pen that I ordered last weekend. Exceptional service from placing the order to actually receiving it. It's about five days, which I think is really good. The pen comes in this box. I've, yes, I've taken it out of the envelope. You don't need to see all my address details. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look what's in the box. We'll then look through the pen, we'll ink it up, do a writing sample, then I'll give you my first impressions of this pen. Here we are down on the table. Before we open the box, let's take a look at what else was in the package. And these are the little things which I thought were really, they just added that extra little bit of value. The first one was an ink sample. This is Robert Oster Grun Shirts, S-C-H-E-A-R-Z. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. So that's nice. So not only have we got the pen, we've got some ink, so we can virtually get straight in and start writing. The other thing that was in there, and I thought this was absolutely superb, was this little pen rest here. And there's one of his business cards, and on there, pen rest pebble made by my five and eight year old daughters. I think this is absolutely awesome. It's, I know it's such a little thing, but to me, it really adds value to what we're doing. And I'm going to use this pen rest in today's video. So let's go for the main event. Let's take a look what's inside the box. So it's a fairly nondescript box. You know, black doesn't matter. I think it looks nice. If we take that off, we've then got in there, it looks like it's a, a pen kimono. The pen must be inside there. Well, you can tell that because it feels like it's in there. So I'll take that out. And then at the bottom, we've just got a little bit of sponge. You know, nice, simple packaging, well protected. And as I've already said, it only took five days from being ordered to being received. So, you know, well packaged, that little bit of extra all adds up to a really amazing value. So let's uh, open this pen kimono. There we go. So all the way around. Got a little bit of elastic over the red button, so if I undo that, open up the kimono, and then ease out the pen. That reveals this absolutely gorgeous pen. This is the Enceladus model of pen that he makes, and it's in Jonathan Brooks Golden Blue Jay. With the pen does come a card, so here we've got the card. So pen number 660, Enceladus. Brooks Blanks, Golden Blue Jay, and he even signs it. Little tiny touch. He's a small manufacturer. I think it's just him. He does have a YouTube channel, and he actually sh shows you on there him making some pens. I've watched a few of those videos. They're really quite interesting. Anyway, back to this pen. I'm just going to turn it around so we can take a look at this absolutely gorgeous material. I bought this pen. Um, I was looking on Facebook, you know, like you do. And it was actually a Sunday I was looking. And I saw the pen. I thought, yeah, that looks really, really nice. So I sent a message. He responded within, I want to say, about 10 minutes. He was he actually said he was out and about, which was why there was a delay. Very fast response. Told him I was interested in this pen. He then sent me a load of detailed photos and even a short video showing it being turned around like I'm doing now. You know, Really good service, so you can see what you're getting before you buy it. The transaction was simple, and as I say, five days later, it was in my hand. So let's fetch in that gorgeous pen rest, and then we'll pop the pen on there. Then we'll take a walk through the body. So we'll start with the cap. The cap has got a slight dome to it. Feels very nice, very smooth, no sharp edges. We then come down into the cap itself it's the same width all the way down till we get to the bottom and at the bottom there's a tiny drop off down to the body there is no clip i'm glad of that i personally find most of the time clips are quite annoying i don't use them i don't use them to clip onto my clothes you know if i'm taking my pens out and about then they're in my gill and leather folio or if I'm not taking that, they'll be in another pen case. So they're always in a case rather than in my clothes. So for me, a clip doesn't really bother me if I've got one or not. 
it's really well done highly polished you can feel the polish as you're going on just how, how can i get over these colors this is my second brooks pen the other one is primary manipulation 3.5 and that's gorgeous but this i don't know maybe it beats the slots off that i will do a video in a few weeks where i compare the two so anyway we drop off down there is a little bit of a taper as it's going down we come into the body the body again same width all the way along till we get to another slightly domed end i can't help myself but look at this material i think it's so pretty i mean we've got we've got blues we've got gold we've got silver shimmer greens oranges browns the material itself I did ask him about this because when I saw the picture, I thought it was black, but it's not. It's a very dark blue, and I can really see that now. Not sure if that comes out over the camera, though. So we're going to take the cap off. I'm going to put my thumb there so we can measure it. So there's half a turn. I know, a bit awkward, isn't it? That's one turn. That's one and a half turns. About between one and a half and one and three quarter turns. Really good, really happy with that. So there you can see the threads that he's put into it. And then that reveals the section. The section in the same material. Let me just turn this around just so you can see that section. Slight hourglass shape to it. No lip at the bottom. So hopefully that would be nice and comfortable when I use it. So there's the pen in my hand unposted. Will the pen post? Sort of. So it will go on but it only goes on a little bit. I mean, unposted, that's perfectly fine for me. That's nice. Let's take a look at the nib. The nib is a standard Yoho nib. You can pick the size you want. So I decided to go with broad. I know I like my broad nibs, but he seems to have the whole range of Yoho nibs going through. Around the back there, we've got that feed. Now we'll come back there to the nib. Because it's a standard Yoho nib, there's no markings at all, apart from on this side here, where I'll just check for my old man eyes. Yep, old man eyes confirm it. We've got a B for broad, so we know the nib size. If we unscrew the body, that reveals the converter. This is a Schmidt converter. I think it's Schmidt K5. I have to always be very careful how I pronounce that name. Goes up and down quite well. No metal fittings, it's all the material. Now, I'm assuming that means it's possible to eyedropper this. It doesn't seem to have any holes in it. I don't think I will do. I mean, one of my issues with eyedropper in many of my pens, I can't see how much ink is in them. So let's pop that back together. And then pop the cap on. Now the pen does feel light. I was expecting that it's resin, but I thought let's just do a quick weight check on this one. So here's the scales of weighing. Let's get them turned on. So the whole pen, let's stop it rolling. It's 19 grams, so yeah, it's fairly light. The actual pen part itself, the body, is 14 grams uninked. So that means that cap, yeah, that's five grams. Nice and light. It feels a nice shape, it feels a nice width. We'll get a better idea in a minute when I write with it. So what I'm going to do now is step away from the desk. I'll give the pen my standard new pen clean, just flushing everything out with some clean water. When I come back, we'll pop some ink in the pen, do a writing sample, then I'll give you my thoughts on this pen. So the pen's now been given a, a clean through. Let's move all out of the way. We'll fetch in today's ink. I thought to myself, it's an Australian made pen. Well, got to really have an Australian ink in there as well, haven't I? So I thought I'll have an ink from Van Diemen. And it's Van Diemen, it's Tassie Seasons Deciduous Beach. Now, it's one of the first inks I bought about three years ago when I got back into fountain pen collecting. I've used about maybe half the bottle. I do find I struggle to find a pen that this ink really gets on with. So maybe this one might be the one. Why I chose this ink, you know, we do have some bits of orange here in the pen. So I thought, well, we've got a little bit of a tie in there. 
But here in Australia, we're going into autumn, and I thought, yeah, this is a nice autumn colour. So that's why I went for Deciduous Beach. Okay, let's pop the section there into the converter, move that all the way down, and let's see how much ink we can get into this converter. Not a lot on the first pass. Let's go down again. Right, so I think what the problem is, is the nib isn't fully submerged in the ink. So let me just tip the ink. Go all the way down again. And then we'll come back up. There. Doesn't it make a difference when the nib's actually in the ink? Just giving this a clean off, and then I'll pop the pen back together. So the pen's all back together. I brought in the notepad of testing. This is Oxford Optic Paper. Really nice fountain pen friendly paper. And it's in an A5 black and red notebook. Let's do some writing. So we've got just turnings. Enceladus. with a broad nib. Cost-wise, I paid 185 Aussie dollars for this. Then there was postage and packing on top of that. The ink, Van Diemen. Deciduous. Beach. Not looking too bad, I'm quite liking that. Drying times, so we go immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. One minute. Still smudging ever so slightly there at a minute, but I don't think it's worth doing that two minute test. Now, I'm going to move the mic down to the page so you can hear the pen write. That's nice. You can hardly hear the pen, but you can actually feel a little bit of feedback. So it's nice, it's tactile, and it's not noisy. It puts down this really nice line. You know, as I say, it's a broad nib. I'm getting what I expect from a broad nib. Very comfortable to write with. You know, the whole way the pen is built, very, very comfortable. Let's look for some line variation. So this is with no pressure. Adding a bit of pressure on. Not sure if it's wider or just more ink going down. No pressure, with pressure, none, with, none, and with. Can't really see that much of a difference. Not really much there, difference going across either. Flow test. No problem keeping up. I know it's only near five page, but when you're writing, that's more than enough. So what are my thoughts on the just turning Enceladus in this Jonathan Brooks Golden Blue Jay? All I can say, I've got to be honest, I absolutely love it. It is such a nice pen. It's a nice size. You know, there we go. Unposted fits really really nice in my hand the width of the section is very comfortable for me you know my fingers they're not touching there's no real lip at the bottom the hourglass shape it guides your fingers i hold my pens down near the bottom of the section very comfortable nice fit nice weight when i was writing up here it was as if the pen had just disappeared into my hand it was so nice it just felt so natural i'm gonna Turn this around again. Just look at this material. This is so pretty. I'm looking forward to using this pen. Puts down a nice line. 
at the moment seems to be agreeing with this ink. I need to do some longer term tests to see how we go. So over the next few weeks, I'll be using this more. Might even fill it up again with the same ink if everything's going all right. I quite like the combo given that we're in autumn. Although there's a brown there and I'm wondering if something like Diamond Tobacco Sunburst would look nice in here as well. I don't know, I'll have to think about that. But quite like the idea we've got this Australian ink in this Australian made pen. Very worthwhile buying this pen. Certainly, I'm going to look at buying some more. Obviously, I need to save my pennies to do that. I've been watching this manufacturer for, I want to say, over a year. And he keeps coming out with these gorgeous pens, and I see them. And I said to my wife, look at this, look how nice it is. And he always comes out with the really nice ones when I don't have enough money. And then when I've got the money, not really seeing much, so I go and buy a different pen anyway. Glad that I've got this, glad I've started to explore these hand-turned pens. And it's nice to support an Australian manufacturer. So this, it's my first impressions of that Just Turnings Enceladus and Van Diemen Deciduous Beach. I'd highly encourage you, if you can, get one yourself. You know, it does lots of different resins. Give it a go. I don't think you'd be disappointed. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. This is my first hand-turned pen. I really liked my first impressions of it. What are your thoughts on hand-turned pens? Do you have any? Do you have any just turning pens? Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon. Music